Oh, hi. You scared the crap out of me. My name's Richard Thorpe, chemical lover and all-round handsome guy. I've been sent by... Grandmaster G! To tell you about acids, bases, and shapes of molecules. So, what are acids and bases? Well, my good friends Bronsted and Lowry define them as proton donators and proton acceptors. Here's my model to show you more. Hi, I'm a Bronsted and Lowry acid. <laughs> Such as HCL. I'm a proton donor. Hi. <laughs> I'm his proton. Uh. Hello, I'm Buzz the Larry Bass, this is Ammonia. <laughs> this is my double bond. Oh, Lone Pair. <laughs> now, now we're, we're going, going to be mixed. <laughs> I'm a proton donor. I'm donating you. <laughs> now I have no electrons. <laughs> I've got double bun. I'm in lone pair. Want to share? <sighs> I'm a proton acceptor. Also NH4. You have been accepted. Thanks, guys. Now, we all know some acids and bases are strong, but others are just plain weak. Bussy. <laughs> so, what's the difference? Hi, we're, we're HCL. HCL. I'm CL. And I'm H. We're a strong, strong acid. acid. That means we're fully ionized. In solution. Hello, we're a weak acid, such as athenoic acid. That means they're only partially ionised in aqueous solution. Thanks, guys. Now let's move on to shapes and molecules. Hi, we're BECL2. We are a linear molecule. That means our bond angle is 180. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, we're silver trioxide. We're trigonal planar. Our bond angles are 120. pairs complicate things. They are in shorter, rounder orbitals. Therefore, lone pair, lone pair portion is bigger than lone pair, bond pair portion, which is bigger than bond pair, bond pair repulsion. Let's take ammonia. It has four electron pairs. However, it's not a tetrahedral shape. This is due to the lone pair. We would describe this shape as being pyramidal. Rules to determine the number of bonds. We'll use methane for our e example. Step 1. 
Determine the number of electron pairs. In our case, methane, that's four. Step two, identify the basic shape. In our case, tetrahedral. Step three, look for lone pairs of electrons. In our case, that's zero. Step four, apply the rules of repulsion between the electron pairs. In our case, there are no lone, lone pairs, so they all repel equally. Step five, draw out the shape of the molecule adding bond angles. You've already seen what's in the last box, but let's see if you can draw it. If you don't like that, here's a nicer way. Step one, write down the number of electrons in the outer shell of the central atom. Using ammonia as our example, the answer is five. Step two, add one electron for each, each bond. Using ammonia, the answer is three. Step three, add one electron if the molecule is negative and take one electron if the molecule is positive. In our case, it's neutral, so it's zero. Step four, divide by two to find the total number of electron pairs. Eight divided by two gives us four. Step number five, work out how many of these pairs are in a covalent bond. In our case, it's three. Wait, you may have noticed that I've just said that there's four electron pairs, so what's going on? Well, Come over here and I'll show you. Here are our three covalent bonds. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? You work it out. Well done! It's a double bond. I mean, lone pair. And finally, Step number six, arrange these pairs to minimise repulsion. Remember, lone pairs always repulse more than bonding pairs. Repulse? Repel. Now, here is our final molecule. Now, no, notice the bond angle is 107 degrees due to the lone pair. Now, it's your turn. Work out the shape and bond angle of the ammonium ion NH4+. Plus. Did you get this structure? If you did, well done. If you didn't, you're a deadbeat loser. Oh, hey. You scared the crap out of me. Again. Well, I hope that your, your day has been filled with education and wonderment. It sure has for me. Thank you, sir. I, Grandmaster G, bless you. No, no problem, Grand, Grandmaster G. Well, it's goodbye from him. And good, good, goodbye. Good, goodbye from you. Goodbye from... From you, yeah. It's like, because it's like the, the way the two Ronnies end, because you see my name's right, Ronak, and people probably, probably get that. Oh, so we'll Ronnie. We'll have to just do it again. No, it's, no, it's alright. I mean, if, why can't you just edit it from when he, from when he cuts... But, but I can't do that. The, the system just won't let me do it. Come on, we should fix that fifth time to charm. No, 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 because it's not five, is it? It's seven. Well, well then eight, eight times to no, charm. No, 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 because you always do this, Ronak. It is. You no. always... Oh. 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 Oh.